We're streaming, we're streaming, we're streaming. I'm on the wrong page. We're streaming. We'll just look down this page. Whatever. So, um, tonight I am going to show y'all one of my old favorite colors that is, can't see on that screen. Back in the house, turquoise siege, can't read it because my camera doesn't want to cooperate today, but I love this color so, so much. Um, I am talking to people, you too. They always want to just chime in. Hey y'all, hey, 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 hey y'all. Yes, baby, I know it. So, I hope you've all had a fabulous, what's today, Monday? Today is Monday. Mondays. All day. Um, this is the piece that Tressa and I successfully did. And if we could get this done in the condition that we were in, then anybody can get any artwork done. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to pour on one of our, I'm sorry about these light interruptions. We're going to get our lights turned so we don't have that anymore. So I'm going to pour on one of our clear canvases or clear um, acrylic panels, a clear cradle that's not cradled. Here you go, go lay down. Um, if you do order one of these, you can get them on our website, artistsoldeth.com. It's going to arrive with this brown paper on both sides. Just take off the paper from one side, pour on that side, and after you let it set overnight or whatever, you peel the back side off, and it'll be easy peasy cleanup for your convenience. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Oh, he has found a cup to chew on, I see. So, um, I'm also going to pour on some of the coaster size geodes. They come the same way. Actually, they come the same way as the sticks, even. So, if you've tried some of our patented stir sticks, you take the brown paper off the same way. I hope you've all had an amazing, brilliant, tastic, awesome Monday. I got an order from Just Resin In, or an order, a shipment. So we've got a whole bunch of new colors. Some classic colors are back that I thought were going to be discontinued for forever and ever and ever. I was wrong. So, hey, 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 hey. Yens. We had someone that came in the chat room a lot and said Yens. Okay, so I'm also going to be doing a cell study with um, Color Obsessions something. Snow White. Sorry, I have completely blanked on that one. Okay. So because this is clear, I want to use a transparent or a translucent color so you can see through it. That's kind of the whole point. Um, I am using a new color tonight. I'm going to be using, this one is actually the new color, Turquoise Seas. Look how pretty that is already. See it reacting? That means it's going to do some coolness. Ooh, it looks like an eyeball. Let's do just one drop and stir it up and see what we got and then we'll add from there. It's like Bondi, but a little slightly bit greener. And I'm shocked to say that the color on the screen is, hey, hey, hey. Pretty, oh, well, no. It's still even a little bit greener than what's on there. Maybe this one? That one's way more accurate. Where are you? There you are. Let's try this one. Even this one showing more green. This is probably the most accurate one. Sorry, you're getting an inside view of my elbow. You're welcome. Uh, I think I'm gonna add one more drop though. 
And that's kind of the cool thing. Well, I've got one and a half drops in there. That's kind of the cool thing about these tints is you can build the color, but it'll never go opaque. It's just always gonna be see-through and beautiful. Yeah, that's better. No, this is the better one. It's a nice, beautiful color. Super pumped. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Waste not, want not. Get every drop back in there. Anything exciting happen for anybody out there today? Did you just know? So this color is Snow White by Color Obsession. She actually sent me some 100 gram jars this time. So if you use a lot of whites, such as myself, um, you can get a bigger jar now and it'll save you some money in the long run. Anytime I use a paste, I like to stir it up, especially if it's been sitting on the shelf for a minute. Get all the goodness mixed back into every other piece of goodnesses. Huh? Glitter. From who? Glass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also going to be using some glitter glass tonight. I actually carry this in the Artistel desk shop now. It's not going to focus. Fine. It's whatever. This is actually the biggest like size flakes <gasps> focused. You can get of this stuff. And I like the bigger chunkies because I feel like they're more noticeable but still not obnoxious. You know, sometimes you want something sparkly, but you don't want something like, wow, that's crafty looking. So that's kind of the awesome thing about the glitter glass or diamond dust. But we already have a paint called diamond dust, so we'll probably stick with glitter glass. <gasps> you blamed me for what? What happened? Hey, Dawn. Okay. So. I'm going to grease the pan with just some clear because I want to do kind of what was in the cover image. Just a whole bunch of negative space, but since everything except for the white's going to be see-through, it's going to look awesome possum. So just like if I was working on a canvas, I'm bringing the resin up to the edge. But like really thin because it's just gonna fill in. So if you do it like thinner, like just a hint of resin, then you don't have to worry about pushing all of your resin off. And even though it's kind of a thinner layer just right now, since resin is self-leveling, it'll fill everything in and give you a nice even, ideally one eighth inch coating all the way. You don't have to worry about making it level. It's going to do that on its own. So if you worry a whole bunch about making, I mean, you need your space level, but you don't have to worry about making sure that every part of your piece has the same amount of resin on it because it's going to self level anyways. Hope that made sense. I try to be a good motivator, a motivator. <laughs> I can't words. I try to be a good motivator. Okay. Still no. All right. Next. Fire. We're in business. Move that out of the way. Okay. I still want it to be negative space, so I'm gonna. But I think I, maybe I only want it negative space over yonder. I'm trying to get away from doing only like the Pepsi swoosh all the time. I 
think I'm going to make a little bit more of this color, but add an extra drop just for a little bit of contrast. <laughs> Always being cute just for no reason down here. Nobody asked you to be that precious, Bowie Beans. I don't have a camera that will reach that far, or I would. See, it's beautiful. See, yes. So since this white is the Snow White, I need it to be on the top of the other colors, unlike the base tints that need to be on the bottom of the other colors. Capiche? Capiche. <gasps> Maybe I'll mix just a little bit of golden. Just a pinch. Hey, Carol! I always make too much gold. <gasps> okay, wait. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to use just resins for bright gold powder. I always overload my powders because I feel like they kind of stick together better that way. They don't dilute, even though that makes no real sense. Why would more of the product in the resin keep it from doing that anyways? But I feel like it helps in some type of way. Maybe there's just so much in there that it is still diluting a little bit, but it's not enough to notice. I don't know. All I know is it looks better if it's just a little bit overloaded. And I moved really fast on that because I just wanted a hint. And for this, I'm gonna do the torch and tilt. If you're new here, I'm gonna just tilt the canvas just a little bit and apply some heat on the top to make the cells. And I don't know the actual science about why this works, but in my head, it only really works well with a torch. And that's about all I can tell you. Because it's just heating it, it's not pushing it. The tilt is what's making it move. Capiche, capiche. Oh, also, while you should be wearing like a respirator and all that anyways, um, particularly when you do this, it's going to set off just a bit of fumes and you don't really want to breathe that in. When you do this, you want to move really fast so that you don't scorch your resin, which will happen if you aren't paying attention. And if you do scorch it, it is not a party. I'm just going to tap the heat in random places to make the resin thin out and split so it gives you all those really nice cells. Now that it's all the way down that way and I've eaten up all of my negative space, I'm going to tilt it back this way. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of a dark color and the white. The next class, I think we're going to do middle or like third week of maybe February. In my head, that's when it's going to be, but Jeff and I haven't discussed it. So. Let's 
So I'm just tapping that with just a little bit of the heat and it makes it sell out and lace up really nice. So now I've tilted it all that way. I'm gonna bring it back. And actually, since I have this thick edge of white here, I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of heat during the tilt back so I can make it sell. liking it very soft let's do this too it looked like the edges had a little bit darker look and just a hair over here as well Remember that wherever you put the heat is where your resin's gonna thin and move the fastest. So only apply the heat where you want some movement. Now, it looks cool where it is, but once I take the backing off, the brown won't be there, so it'll be just clear. I think I'm gonna add one more little bit of gold or something because it's kind of just there so let me do something like that oh, I got it nope I keep getting a double stream. Okay. There we go. Now, since that's a hard line and this is kind of softer, I'm just going to touch it a little bit with the heat to feather it out just a hair. What does he have? How do you even get that fresh? No, sir. No, sir. So. Now I like that line better than this line. Okay, that's all, because the gold will take over if I keep adding it like that. Actually, that's a little bit too much. I'm just going to let it run off the hair. And then back in. So it doesn't look so purposeful. Yeah. Right, Nene? Okay, I'm gonna take this to the dust-free zone and I will show you guys what it looks like on the back tomorrow. Be right back. We have a little bit of resin left and I have these coaster size geodes left so if I can get them apart and here Hey everybody that just tuned in. So since I want most of this clear, I'm gonna wipe off the areas where I got fingerprints. This is just a 70% isopropyl alcohol wipe. And in doing this, I'm gonna try not to get even more fingerprints on it. Like I think I just did on one of them. Okay. Okay. 
Make some more of this. I've got enough that and that. Clear. Even when you're pouring on something so small, you want to keep it to where it's gonna level out to an eighth inch because anything past that is just gonna break the surface tension and run off your surface. And that only counts if it's a right angle, if it's um, like a curved surface like canvases or like some cradle boards are rounded. The risk is like even greater that's gonna run off. Just an FYI. And I'm actually gonna try something a little bit different on these, I think, maybe. Mm -hmm. We made the darkest um, turquoise seas, which is this beautiful, deep, tealy, aqua e color. should take my time when I'm doing things like this, but I'm in a hurry to see what it's gonna look like. I don't have time to take my time. Crazy. When I paint with um, Christy from Flatland Artistry, she's so deliberate. I'm a little bit envious. She definitely is, she takes her time and is very thoughtful, thoughtful, well thought out, y'all know what I mean. I just want to see what it's going to look like, so I want to get all the color on like super fast. Okay. We're gonna have an I can't open it situation. Hope not. Ugh. Hey, what's the question? So I'm going to put some raw, just regular tint. I can't put this back in there because it's got resin on it. Just want to see what it'll do. wave why sure coaster we're going to grease the pan as per usual but I'm going to do a thicker grease because I want the brown of this masonite to be like the ocean color. Nope. Sand color. So I'm just going to I guess I could have left. Let's do that. I'm going to push some of this into here because if I add a lot of color to it, it's gonna be more than the one eighth I was just talking to you guys about. So now it's got a thick white, nope, thick clear over here and then a really thin clear on this side that I'm going to use this turquoise seas. On this side. There we go. 
Now I'm going to use just a little bit of this white. Let me think. Okay. I've been doing base cells for so long I had to think of how I'm supposed to manipulate a wave. So you want the thick edge to be on the shoreline and the frothy wave lacy part to be on the back side. I assume that's how I think of them. So what you're going to do is you have to use a torch, use all the same little rules that I was saying a second ago about a respirator and etc. So if you can see on this torch, nope. All right. So you're going to use this area of the fire right out here, right when the um, blue flame color fades into nothingness. Okay. Because if you use if you put it too far up here where it's like whiter, I mean, nope, the brighter blue, you're gonna scorch your resin for sure. So you just wanna use the very edge of your flame and you wanna hit this back side of the white, the side that is touching the color. And you wanna tilt it backwards so that all of your color fades that way and you're gonna just touch it lightly with the flame to get it to break. I should have used a couple other colors. It's hard to do this on such a small size. So what I'm gonna do is let this set up for a minute and then I'm gonna use a little bit more of the blue over it. So it's gonna look very dimensional. So I'm gonna let this set to the side for just a second. Keep your eyes on it. We're gonna do these just real quick. So I'm gonna put some gold on the inside. Now I'm just going to fill in the areas that don't have anything. On um, this one, the outside appears that it's going to be just white, which is fine. I think one of the beautiful things about geodes are their imperfections rather than being exactly precise. Precise ones are still beautiful. Compressor works. That's the first time it's come on all day. You guys, we found a filter for that compressor. It was in the box. And added it, and it actually made it a lot quieter. So Jeff's banana rating has adjusted. We'll be doing another review of it soon. Yeah, it was crazy when I left today. You couldn't see downtown, like even if you drove past it. And then once you got outside of downtown going north on 35, right after AAC, mm -hmm. it was sunny. And you, and you couldn't see downtown. That's crazy. It got kind of sunny here for um, about a second. How's the weather where y'all are today? Oh, I'm going to be using the glass for sure. Did you say we need to get Bowie a monkey? Yeah, a chimpanzee. You're cleaning up after it. Mm -hmm. JJ said, hey Jeff. Hey. Your compressor's calling out to you.
So see where the white turns kind of grayish? It's like half right there. That's where your cells are going to come when you start hitting it with a little bit of heat. It's where the thinner white is. And that's the key. Am I missing an important question, you guys? That's gonna look super cool when I take the backing off. Oh no, Angie, that sounds gross. Hey Kim! I'm doing fabulous, thank you for asking. After I get all these like situated with color, I'm gonna go back and add um, the glass pieces. What up, Beyond? How you doing? How you been? How your class is going? It better be going good. You're a smart girl. No, calm down. Sounds good, Kim. So Jasmine, I'm I'm not big on using silicone oils. It's just too much cleanup for me after. There's just too much extra. But um, if it works for you to use silicone oil, that's awesome. Um, I prefer just using paints. See? They just come up if you use a proper amount of heat. My camera's not going to focus, but. If you move slow enough, they'll stretch and not compress back on each other. No, I, need, I used a lot of heat on that one, so I need to let that one rest. I'll just switch it over here. We'll add the teal back. Do a quick. Yeah, I am. Right, Jasmine, I hear that a lot. So the white I'm using on this one is Color Obsessions Snow White. Most white paste will work just the same. See how now you can see the white under it? And so it's going to give extra depth once I figure out how I want to situate these. I put too much white to show waves, and now it's just going to be another cell study poster. That looks really fun. Okay, so this one should be cooled down a little bit. You can see by when you tilt it, it's not going to run quite as fast as it was. I'm 
Oh, that's fun. Just parts all the way around the center. All right, I'm gonna let this one rest again. And we'll do this one. in this one. looking ocean. Let it relax and see what it does. Bowie, what are you doing? Okay, you can have that cup. You're fine. I like that one. Looks like just a windswept wave. All right, let's get out the glitter glass. This stuff is amazing. I don't even know if it's gonna, yep, of course it's gonna, because I didn't think it would. It's just elegant, glistening, Sparkly, right? Um, Jeff draws. Um, I really like using this when I want just a hint of sparkle, but not like a piece that looks like a craft project. You know, the thing about this is you cannot use these until you are prepared for your top coat because if you put a layer of resin over them, they're going to disappear. These things are not cheap and you will waste them. Cool? Cool. Yes, Nene, I have it on my website already. You can get them in 10 grams, 20 grams, half pound, and a pound. Good job. So I'm just going to add them to the little areas that I would want to be like a druzy -y. Yep, I said that. Boys, that's enough. And that will add some subtle sparkle. Interesting, they almost look they like they matted out where the gold was. I'll show you up close in just a second. here um, if you're sensitive or you cut yourself really easily this is glass so please be careful and don't write me an, an angry email saying that you cut yourself because I used glass on the channel because while I will feel bad there will be nothing I can do because at this point point I said be careful because glass will cut you I have never cut myself on this, and while I say that, it's probably going to happen right now. Um, I've never cut myself on it, so take heed where you will. Was that Jeff? Was that a Jeff spotting? Um, yes. Yes, it was. Huh? He's on the final table wearing an ATD hat? Yeah. What's the, um... It's Poker Go. Come tell the people so that they can... Well, maybe some of these ladies play Poker Go. 
on the go. I've really gotten into asymmetrical sparkle lately. So I'm not putting it all the way around. I'm just accenting areas. I did want to, uh, I did a geo that basically looked like a frozen over lake. It was just icy, oceany colors. And then I put some of this stuff on it and it looked so good. I'm not here tooting my horn. I swear I'm not. I just think it looks super good. I'm going to put some of this on here as well. And um, while it's, they're not going to lay completely flat, your coasters will be fine if you use these. Just um, don't leave them around children because it's it is glass. Super pumped. I'm just gonna empty my hand. Retrospect, that was probably really stupid to do because glass. Love Texas Hold'em. Stone coat goes under, most pace go over for self. Vamp, that is 100% correct. B. Jokefish likes blackjack. I don't know where B went. Who said blackjack? You just said blackjack. Yeah, Joe Fish, Joe Fish said she liked blackjack. So it's hard to see with um, the shadows of my cameras, but you can really see them how it matted out, but they still have sparkle where the gold is. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do a true color video of some of these because is not showing all of the beauty. And it's really awesome that it gives that like, not choppy wave look, but like water is moving look. It's exactly what it looks like to me. You know, when you look out at water, it's glistening and sparkly and you can see a little bit of like movement. That's what it looks like. Uh, Jasmine, I am using Color Obsession White tonight. And I have a coupon code right now that is ATD on our website, artistsilvet.com. Let me just take these over to the dust free. I'll be right back. Focus. Focus. My camera's like it's too shiny. Can't focus. Squirrel. I think I'm in some kind of group chat or something because my phone has gone off nonstop. It makes me think that um, Clara is messaging me that the camera's muted or the live feed has died. No idea. That was 
I'm in a group chat with all the presenters for the Artisan Summit, and there's apparently some kind of discussion going down, because they're all over the place right now. Why can't I ever find the mouse? There it is. Can never find it. Never. All the cradle boards. They shouldn't be out of stock. Let me um and check that right now if you guys got a second. As long as I don't have to remember my sign in, we'll be good. Dang it. Okay. So, plot twist. We're going to have to wait for me to check the status um, on the cradle boards. But I will do that just as soon as this live feed ends. I'll go to the other computer that I usually log in on. Um, I don't take pictures of all of my art pieces. If I took a picture of every, my computer would crash if I had a picture of every piece I ever did since we paint one to 20 pieces a day. You never know with all the coasters and et cetera. Jasmine, you can always um, shoot me a text if you have questions, it's probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. There you go. Um, I hope you guys give these new colors a shot. I also have Alexandrite in, which was a super hot seller that got discontinued like way back in the beginning, way back in the olden times. I have a little bit of resin left, so I'm just gonna do one more. <laughs> Where do we go play poker at? Isn't, wouldn't it be plus one? Isn't that the international code for the states? Oh <laughs> man. So if that's one of y'all calling me, I can't answer it right now. Sorry. Is that your phone or our phone? Business phone. We may have to do two more coasters. You haven't logged in? I'll check it in a second. I'm going to have to do one of these too. Try that and got disconnected message. That's weird. It's super weird too. Listen here, Jasmine, you should totally go. You have everyone that's in this chat room right now is fam. What better place to meet other awesome artists than at an artist-focused summit? To my knowledge, no one in the fam is like, they don't bite that I know of. I could super be wrong could super be wrong. So don't quote me that no one's a biter. But you have all of these awesome people that are here. And I'm pretty sure everyone that's in this chat room loves to meet new people. At least everyone that I met at the summit last year, which was amazing. 
It was super friendly, and I taught a whole bunch of ladies how to play craps. I know it. You weren't even a thought in your mom's head yet, Beansy. I'll teach you how to play craps, Bowie. What number do you want to bet on, Beans? Red seven. Gotcha. I understand, Jasmine. I should have known, Bamp. I should have known. I fail. All right. Let's see what we can make with this. y'all think love for this to focus so you guys can tell me what you think you see that cell just boop 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 I'm gonna stand here until it focuses focus <gasps> it worked I love these like long thin stretched out ones because those look super oceany Yes, I said oceany. No shame. Perfect. All right. One more. Which one, Jasmine? The white. Um, the white and the aqua are both color obsession. And by aqua, I mean it's turquoise seas. I'm just touching the edge to make it go all the way over so that it all grabs when I stretch it back. It'll thin out more easily and create all those really nice cells as it stretches. The key is a torch, torch and tilt, and make sure everything grabs on this side before you tilt it back. Because that stretching and thinning of the resin is where all the magic's gonna happen for you. Take care not to put too much heat though, because that's where I'm at on this one. Keep trying to fix certain areas, and it just overheats and overheats and overheats. So, I was going to do this. Dang it. I'm going to have to wipe this off one more time. Thank you, Holly. Mary Jane, it is Turquoise Seas by Color Obsession, the tint. Sorry, whoever's calling can't answer during a live feed. There, 
It's like aqua marble. Okay. Enough with the games. I gotta clean up and find out about all these missed everythings that I've missed. Cool, cool. Um, how many prizes are left? I think only six or seven out of like 21 have been claimed. So, super odds are in everyone's favor. So, Holly, the new jars that I have leaked zero in transit, the shimmers, the new, new ones. The old ones that are in the glass jars, they are having leaking problems, so put something down. But um, the new ones that are in the plastic jars haven't had any issues. Just heads up. So, uh, read all of these things. I'm going to take these to the dust free zone before I forget real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit. BRB. All right, all right, all right. So did I miss anything? Anyone have any questions? Yes, turquoise seas was the aqua color that we used tonight. And in one of the coasters, I dabbled some Bondi. And we also used snow white tint, nope, paste from color obsession. I feel so grown up when I clean the resin off of Jeff's things. Jeff. Huh? What happened? Did you get it to log in? I was just telling people I feel grown up when I clean the resin. <laughs> Bad word. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Just clean this all the way off. I'm so glad you love your hoodie. Will torch and tilt create cells with any additives? So by additives, do you mean paints? Like with any paints? Um, whites? As long as it's a resin specific paste, you should be able to do it. So, um, titanium from just, nope. Yep. Just resin, titanium white from just resin will do it. Snow white from color obsession will do it. Um, angel white, I think from low res will do it. Uh, casting craft will do it. Alumalites, opaque white, we'll do it. Get some butcher paper, y'all. It's the easiest cleanup of ever. Um, no, any paste will give you, any opaque paste will give you cells, I've noticed. Torch and tilt style. So, yes. Yeah. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. BS. White spray paint will also work. I've never tried Fasco, Fosco white. Um, whoop. Who judges? Knee check me. Um, if you. Enough. If you um, send me a text, text with that Fasco or Fosco white, um, I'd be happy to review it for you guys. Capiche? Capiche. So, 
Got to take these babies out. Nope. Yep. Um, so, y'all know the deal. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and seeing what we're up to today. We are so excited that you guys joined us. Hi. Okay. I'm not supposed to have this. Um, oh, my pleasure, Gail. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, you, this is not for Bowie's. I'm not even sure what this used to be. You can chew on the wood side. Um, I forgot where I was. But, uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll be early. It's a grooming day for the boys. And it's Tuesday. So we usually go on at 2 o'clock on Tuesday. But I'll probably go on super early. Because it's going to be a madhouse over here. Joplin's coming over with Scarlet. Trust is coming over with Cash and... Um... Athena. Anyways, uh, be kind to one another. You never know what something's going through. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.